Hey guys, so I'm gonna do the Moon Time Magic Tag. I know that was a weird noise. I don't know if you guys heard that. My body makes weird noise sometimes. I'm really tired, so uh, hopefully this video goes well if I feel like I'm just not able to talk easily. Uh, I'll probably start the video again. Stop, stop licking the couch. Um, the joys of having dogs. Um, seriously, please stop licking the couch. <clears throat> so yeah, the moon time tag. If you don't know what a moon time is, I will warn you now, it is your period. It's people who have uteruses periods. Um, so if that's a triggering topic or if that's just too gross for you, you don't have to watch this video. Uh, go ahead and skip over it. Um, yeah, so this was done by uh, Ashley Adulting. She is a channel that I follow. Um, I will link her there. It was also done by Dragon Fay Witch, who uh, is part of the uh, collaboration channel that uh, I'm a part of called Witch Dwellers. I will do my best to link everything below um, because I sometimes forget, honestly, and it's a problem. Hello, Cheshire. Um, but yeah, I will do my best to link everything below, uh, the tag and the um, channels that I mentioned, Ashley Dalton, Dragonfay Witch, and Witch Dwellers. So. Uh, on to the questions. The first question is, how can you tell your moon is coming? So, I get... At, okay, so around the time that it is coming, I know because I get so emotional. I cry at the drop of a hat. I fucking... I get really snippy I get bitchy like I am angry at the world I have cramps and I'm just generally really uncomfortable um and that is about it I know that mine fluctuate a lot as far as timing I'm not entirely sure why it used to go by the full moon um but now it's more uh, the waxing, waxing, yeah, the waxing moon, which, uh, yes, the waxing moon, um, which I don't, I don't know why it changed. It just happens. Uh, the body is a very strange thing that I don't understand. I don't even like having a physical form, but that's another tangent. Um, the next question is, do you meditate? How does your meditation routine, oh puppy, change during the, uh, moon time? He, as the noise that's going on in the background is my puppy decided that it was a good time to try to play with the cat and the cat does not like to be played with with the puppy. So the cat isn't, you know, mean, but he'll... He'll swipe at him a couple times just to let him know to leave him the hell alone. And the puppy doesn't like it. And it, he's such a dramatic dog. But anyway, meditation. I do every once in a while meditate, but I usually fall asleep. So I usually only do it at night. Because even if I'm on the rare occasion wide awake and try to do it, I will pass out. Uh, please stop that. Why are you guys being obnoxious all of a sudden? Yeah, why? Would you like to come here? Um, stop, stop it. Stop it. Uh, sorry. Uh, meditation routine's changing. I don't have much of a routine, so honestly, it's, it doesn't really change. I'm probably more likely to not meditate during that time, if anything. Uh, why are you so interested in my hands right now? Um, 
Yeah, so that's basically the short of that is I don't really tend to meditate often enough probably and I probably should meditate more. So it doesn't really coincide with my moon time at all. Uh, favorite teas and foods during moon time. I get massive salt cravings. Like all I want is something salty. Uh, all done. Hey, all done. And uh, chocolate isn't as big of a thing because I know that's a really popular craving, but I mean, it does happen. I don't know why everybody, almost everybody craves chocolate during that time. Um, but I know mine at least is mostly salty food, like potato chips especially. Um, please stop licking the couch. The couch doesn't taste good and there's nothing on it. Um, at least I don't think it tastes good. As far as tea goes, uh, I don't, I mean, I drink tea often enough that, I mean, I always resort to peppermint tea because peppermint tea is my favorite. Um, other than that, it doesn't really have anything to do with my moon time. Uh, aromatherapy, oils, and incense. Well, as far as smells go, um, I don't really use aromatherapy for that time. Uh, it is something that doesn't really click with me. I'm starting to get more into it, but for different reasons. Um, mostly to do with deities and wanting to be closer to them. Um, Yeah, so it's kind of, I'm still new to the whole aromatherapy thing and it's not really clicked with me before, but I'd like, I'm trying uh, to get into it. So maybe eventually I might use them for uh, that time period, but it kind of just depends. Um, one thing that I do use that I probably should have mentioned in the last question is Fairly regularly, I use CBD oil, which is a hemp extract, and that helps with pain, anxiety, my seizures, uh, and a number of other things. Um, so it's not something you smell, it's something you ingest, and obviously I recommend doing research on it. My favorite is actually Charlotte's Web. Uh, you can look up Charlotte's Web CBD online um, and that's kind of like it does because I get so emotional during that time I increase my dosage uh, to instead of the twice daily to probably like three times a day um, I don't know what's on the couch that they're so interested in but there's definitely something because they're both on the couch now trying to lick the couch. Uh, anyways, yeah, so that's something that I do use uh, just as kind of like a mood stabilizer primarily, and it does help with pain. Uh, and there's a number of different uses. So let's see. Do you have any rituals or special activities? No. I sleep and I cry like that's that's really it is I sleep and I cry uh like I don't want to do anything I don't want to do magic I don't want to uh do anything physical like getting up at all off the couch um so no I don't really have any special activities uh how do you feel about or incorporate blood magic I okay Period blood magic is gross to me. I don't care if other people do it. For me, the idea is disgusting because anybody who has one knows that what comes out is pretty gross. But if you personally want to incorporate that, feel free. I know some people like to bleed into the earth where they sit basically, you know, their butts out and they're sitting on the ground and they're letting it flow out into the ground. And that works for 
a lot of people, but that does not work for me. I'm not even interested in, interested in trying it. I just, no. For me, that's a no. Um, and the next and the final question is, what are your personal correspondences for moon time? I don't have any correspondences other than high emotions. So, well, I guess that would mean kind of water. Uh, it's a high water element time. And I sh should, now that I think of it, like on the spot here, should probably incorporate something more grounding. So uh, earth primarily, just to kind of help with uh, combating so much water, so much emotion, you know? And that is just kind of on the spot just now thinking of it. So I'm probably going to try it my next uh, time. But yeah, that's all the questions. Uh, it is starting to get to be a long video, probably because my dogs are being ridiculous. I mean, not as bad as they could be, but just minor things that are distracting. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to do just a vlog or an update video. I don't know yet because there are some things that I would like to talk about, but I am honestly a little bit nervous about talking about them because they can be kind of a touchy subject. I mean, this is a touchy subject too, I guess, but um, yeah. So I will see you guys later. I uh, hope you're all feeling good. I know my videos haven't been very scheduled, but yeah. All right, bye guys.